What's up everyone? This is Kantanaka Wish for Fish and in this video I am in Brazil on the Rio Marie River fishing for giant peacock bass with untamed angling. I started off this trip, I was already in Brazil, so if you'd like to see the Opera Hotel, check out the Jingu video. Your boat. Check it out, that's where we're gonna be staying for the next week. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm at São Gabriel da Cocheria. I just got off the plane from Manaus and about to get on a float plane. Now for the next week, I was gonna be fishing the Rio Marie River, which is in the northwest corner of the Brazilian Amazon near the Colombian border. The Marie River is a tributary of the Rio Negro, and the Rio Negro is the second largest tributary of the Amazon River. We were gonna be staying on the mothership where we had access to over 800 kilometers of river and over 180 known creeks. Right on. <laughs> okay, great. Okay. Found my room right here. Dang. Oh, That's oh, ridiculous. Oh. Check out this view, man. Oh, what? I'm on a boat. With this, we got the uh, bathroom here. Let's turn on some lights. Beauty. I can get used to this. Apparently it's lunchtime. Woohoo! Perfect timing. It's a freaking hot tub in here. Yes, espresso machine. That's an early morning must. And this is a late evening must. Mayos and rice. Oh, it's it's like a a There's ants for dinner. One time they were raw, mm. one time they were They're a little crunchy. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. This is the first day on the water. We're gonna head upstream about an hour and 10 minutes and hopefully get into some big boys. Oh! Yeah. Yes, first butterfly. Beauty. Oh! I got him, I got him. I was watching him. He was sitting there. <laughs> it's a wolffish. Is it? It is. Hell yeah! I got my wolffish! Yes! It was funny because I saw him, that's why I didn't move it, because he was sitting there uh -huh. looking at it. Wolf fish, I did it! <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna catch it here, but I did it. <laughs> yes! There it is. Ooh, a nice wolf fish. Wolf fish! Okay, can you uh, put it in the water for a second? This was another lesson in Lost in Translation. Uh, to be fair, he did exactly no what I asked to... him oh, to do. No, no. Why did oh. he. Ele disse que era só para colocar um pouquinho dentro da água. Oh, you have the movie, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ooh, oh. Yes. Oh. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. And he's I'm watching. Yes. Oh, no. oh. Oh. Guess there. There's yeah. two wolfish. Yes, it's another wolfish. This time, don't no, no, this time I will have, I will hold the fish. <laughs> Just in case. Ooh, what fish number two? Yeah. 
Yes. many times. So pretty. Those dots. Man. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. It's a good oh. choice. That's a pretty one. Yeah. Whoo! Did you just grab? Oh, let me get a nice picture of that one. Got it. Ooh, yes. Oh. Oh. There we go. That was crazy any more lines so I had to just kind of just wiggle your, your yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is the way yeah this is the way for sure this is the way hey something is following my thing yeah <laughs> There's a log right there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. oh, no, it's in my... That's why I say to you to catch that. There we go. <sighs> what the f is that? What? Um, oh my god, what is that? Capybara? Others. Oh. Pretty decent butterfly. Oh, so much for that. Oh, oh, oh. oh. it's a big one. Oh, he's stuck on the wall. <laughs> Charlie is a serial killer. Bam! Nice!
got it. You got it. You got it. What's the good one? Don't broke the leader. Yeah. It's not big. Thank you. Really good. Okay. 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 Now this was the end of the lagoon and I had zero confidence in it until I saw a little bit of movement on one of the trees that was in the water. So the lesson I learned here was always scout it out to the very end. Now this beeping you're about to hear is my camera turning off because the battery's dead. Now here there's several things that you're trying to control at once. You're trying to change the direction of its head to keep it out of the trees that are on your right and your left and you're trying to keep the line from getting tangled from your feet and around your rod. Meanwhile you're all trying to fight this fish without losing it and it's quite exciting and the power of this fish has been known to break every piece of your setup from your rod to your reel to 60 pound straight leader to even your fly line. So they're measuring it and tagging it, all the asu. They measure, tag, and then that way they could keep track of where they caught it next and maybe possibly kind of get a little better reading on where these guys go. 15 pounds. 50. 80 centimeters by 50. say this is pretty exquisite and unbelievable accommodations considering the weather right now. We're having barbecue. Uh, Who said you can't have barbecue in the rain? It was always reassuring to know that there was a fantastic meal waiting for us at the boat. This arapaima is delicious. Being that you're in the rainforest, you better expect rain. So bring your rain jacket. And luckily I was small enough to find a lovely little place to get away and not have rain flying in my face. I got it. <laughs> Love it. When is the breeding? Oh, oh, wait a minute. That's a big, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. That's a big 
Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I like that. God, look at that. Look at that. All this action. Keep it like that. You see that? Boy, look the other way. To get the fish riled up, sometimes the guides would use Ooh. teaser plugs with spin gear, and it was super fun when it would go according to plan. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. It was. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. This happened within the first couple casts of the day, and it was one hell of a way to start. So hold him out. If you could, let it go in the reel. Okay. How do you reel pressure? Nice. Oh, shit. Keep going. More. You did good. Everything was good. And we're stopped uh, at a butterfly sanctuary, it looks like. Thank you, Peter. Okay, so we stopped for lunch, we stopped on the bank, and they're making a fire right now, so we're doing a real deal Amazon shore lunch, and they are making a grill out of sticks and uh, stuff from the jungle. That's serious. Okay, now you need to uh, do that for the uh, asu. <laughs> I wish I could do that. Hard. Little wood fire pork. Mm. Beautiful. This fish is delicious. Mm. I found a lovely little place. Going this fast in the rain feels like frickin' needles. What, let me see. Let me see that. Oh yeah, it's going through the change. Now here, I hate to say it, but I was completely defeated. It was the last day. It was a thousand degrees with a thousand percent humidity. I had bugs flying all around me, and we haven't caught much all day. And I was thinking about quitting until I finally realized what I was saying to myself and I just told myself to suck it up and I decided to just reboot.
person. Right before lunch, luckily I got to witness Diogo, who was on his first fly fishing adventure ever, catch one of his asu. I have a hitchhiker. They don't like the fly? Now, at the end of the day, on the very last cast, I go to turn off the camera and I thought I was snagged on something until this happened. Ah, oh, for f**k's sake. Oh my god, there's a fish. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was using the rod tip though, so. I'll take it. I can't go any further because my leader. What the f was that? You see that? <laughs> My first Pakasu, sixty centimeters by thirty seven. I'll take it. That was the craziest set I've ever had. It was right at the boat. I was gonna mess with this camera and then boom, I didn't thought it was stuck and my line was moving. So I had to set the hook with the rod. <laughs> Crazy. Three kilos, three kilos How many? Three, um, like... Three kilos? Yeah, three kilos and a half, like... So that's uh, eight pounds Eight, eight pounds, yeah. yeah, eight pounds. This is a pacasu. Beautiful fish. It's ready to go now. Thank you, buddy. Woohoo! Yes! <laughs> now, at the end of the week, you knew it was very successful when your bass thumb looked like this, and there would be no better way to end the trip than to get rained on. No matter how miserable the ride was, it was so great to come back to such an amazing meal every night and it definitely added to the overall experience. You gotta have some ants. Okay, cheers everyone. No, 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 it's the hotel. What's up everyone? Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, please do like, share, or comment below. Don't forget to check out our website at wishforfish.com and if you're on social media, give us a follow at Wish for Fish. And if you're interested in fishing with untamed angling, their information as well as a complete list of my gear that I was using will be in the description box below. And I'll see you on the water.